Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today I'm going to show you how can you get all the mounted animal head plans in the Wild Appalachia DLC. Hello, welcome back. So I have been working in this project for quite some time now. It took me about a week to finally finish my collection of animal heads. And I must say that it's not difficult at all. You just need to know what you're doing as most things in this game. So right now there are a total of 11 mounted heads and most of them can be obtained through one single daily quest. But that's not everything. I'm going to be splitting these series into two parts because otherwise it would be like a 30 minutes video and that's too long in my opinion. And in this first part, I'm going to show you how can you get the Wendigo mounted head as well as all the bugs available in the game right now. And finally, the wolf and the rat stag mounted heads. Now, keep in mind that when you go into the build mode in your camp, you will see over 40 types of heads, but most of them are not in game or accessible to players right now. You can see them, but only 11 are in the game, as in you can get them and build them right now. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start with the Wendigo. So for this one, you need to complete a mission called the Sinking Feeling. It's a mission that starts like out of nowhere, really, here at the Southern Belle Motel. And all you need to do is pick up like a note on top of a table. But don't get me wrong, this mission has been covered by many other content creators by now. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. And there the letter is, just read it, and the side mission will start as soon as you exit the note. The letter basically tells you about the sheep squatch and how he's looking for something, and there's a shack and so on. And there you go, that sinking feeling has begun. Now head a little bit to the west, the location of the shack is right between uh, this farm, and that way is the farm and here is the shack it's a little bit hidden behind these rocks at first i didn't see it so be aware of that when you come here then make sure to check the terminal to get the mission update basically what we have to do is find the password for the terminal and if you notice there is a little code on top that says always seek the truth that's a hint to what the password is. Now, if you leave the terminal after checking the files and read this small letter here, you will soon understand that there is one person there that stands out of everyone else. It's his best female friend, and he describes her as the person that he trusts the most. Her name is Mary, and that really triggers me that in the terminal there were like ma and then re so that's probably the first part of the password but then there were numbers and i also remember seeing this birthday present ideas so i went there and her name is there 1117 so let's check the terminal again and see if the password is like that first ma then re which is her name and then 11 and 17, her birthday. And that's pretty much it. We unlocked the terminal and now we can access the secret researches. I open everything just to make sure that I get all the mission updates I can get. After reading the Sheep Squatch research, we get a mission update with the last entry. Then if you go on and read the next research, Spirits and Ghosts, you will get another mission update with the latest location where he went. Now we have to go north to find the second church and it shouldn't be too difficult because it's like a big ass church in the middle of the swamp. It's this one as you can see. 
just kill whatever hostiles there are, in my case were robots, and then you have to enter through this tower right at the top, which will lead you into an underground cave. Now you can start looking for clues or you can read this note and then get attacked by a wendigo. Out of nowhere he appears and it scared the hell out of me. And I just killed it, of course, without looking for any clues. Because, you know, how am I supposed to look for clues when a freaking Wendigo pops up? Come on, guys. So I'm not sure what clues they wanted me to find. But the ultimate goal here is to kill this Wendigo. And then that sinking feeling mission is completed. Pretty handy, hmm? And as a reward, we get... A Wendigo a mounted head plan. Don't forget to learn it and then you can build one Wendigo mounted head at your camp. Now that you have the Wendigo plan, it's time to check how can you get all the bugs available in the game right now. There are six as you can see and they can all be obtained from Dolly Sod's Wilderness Daily Mission from the Pioneer Scouts. You don't really need any prerequisites to do this, all you have to do is come here and talk to the Pioneer Scout leader Treadley to begin the mission Stings and Things. It's a daily and you can only do it once every 24 hours sadly, but every time you complete this mission you will get a mounted bug head. It's random, but I suggest you to do campfire Tales, the event just after you start the mission. If you don't know how to do it, then feel free to check my guide on the event. Because things can get a little bit tricky with this one. Also, you get a chance to earn possum badges every time you complete it. And since so many bugs spawn here, it's very easy to complete or almost get everything done for the Stings and Wings mission. Once you are done, you can just return to Leader Treadley and get your rewards. Keep in mind that you can also earn possum badges with this daily, so it's like doing two things at once if you merge it with campfire tales. Also remember that this stings and wings mission is very easy to do. If you don't want to do it with the event, then simply look at your map and go to all the locations that they tell you to go and collect the parts of the bugs and then return to the scout leader. It's very simple to do the daily, and as you can see, you always get a mounted insect head. You can get the firefly, you can get the rad roach, the stingwing, all of them, the six, as you can see. I have repeated ones already, but I didn't manage to get a thick plan at all, thanks to Griff for giving it to me, but I'm sure the six of them drop with this daily event, so make sure to do it every day if you want to get all the plans. For the wolf and the rat stack mounted head plans, you need to complete two missions that are part of the taxonomy missions. So if you don't know how to start or do them, make sure to check my full questline guide on how to do everything. But basically in here you have to finish two of them to get the mounted heads. The first one is lying low and with this one you get the mounted wolf head. It's one of the first missions of this questline. And for the other one, for the rat stack, you need to complete the low town. It's one of the longest missions in this questline. And if you have fully done all the missions for the taxidermy, you might not have realized how you got these plans before. At least I didn't. I had to rewatch my guides to actually understand where or which quest give me what. So here's the information. If you don't have the heads yet, then now you know how to get them. That's it for part one of how can you get all the animal amount of heads 
in the Wild Appalachia DLC. So, so far I have shown you how to get the Wendigo, the insects, and now the wolf and the rats tag. That's nine in total, which means we have two left. You need to do two missions, side missions, to get the two left and I will let you know how to start and do them in part two. So it will be around another 10 minutes to explain everything and I didn't say but it's basically how to get the Yagwai and the Onlet mounted hats. So stay tuned, I will post it very soon. But that's going to be everything for this one. Thanks for watching and I hope I helped you understand what you have to do to get, well, the mounted hats that you want to have to decorate your camp. I am Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching and as usual, if you are new around and you would like to see more of this type of content, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Also, if you would like to go one step further, then check my Patreon page. We have tiers for everyone, including $1 once. As usual, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Adios! Bye-bye!